Hi, in this video I will show to you the top 10 carnivorous plants that eat everything from insects to mammals. Let's begin. 10. Portuguese sundew. The Portuguese sundew or Drosophyllum lusitanicum, grows in nutrient-poor soil along the coasts of Spain, Portugal, and Morocco. The 20–40 cm glandular leaves which uncoil from a central rosette, lack the power of movement common to most sundews, but have the unusual characteristic of coiling outward when immature, so you can forgive it for supplementing its diet with the occasional insect. Like many other carnivorous plants on this list, the Portuguese sundew attracts bugs with its sweet aroma, traps them in a sticky substance called mucilage on its leaves, secretes digestive enzymes that slowly dissolve the unfortunate insects, and absorbs the nutrients so it can live to flower another day. 9. Moccasin plant the moccasin plant or pink lady's slipper is a large showy wildflower belonging to the orchid family. It has two opposite basal leaves with conspicuous parallel veins and a large flower at the end of an erect stalk. This plant grows 6 to 15 inches tall and flowers generally between May and July. In order to survive and reproduce, pink lady's slipper interacts with a fungus in the soil from the Rhizoctonia genus. When the lady's slipper plant is older and producing most of its own nutrients, the fungus will extract nutrients from the orchid roots. Pink lady's slippers can live to be 20 years old or more. Pink lady's slippers also require bees for pollination. Bees are lured into the flower pouch through the front slit, attracted by the flower's bright color and sweet scent. Once inside, the bees find no reward, and discover that they are trapped. Eight. Waterwheel plant. The waterwheel plant is a submerged aquatic plant, first discovered by botanists in 1696 and studied by Charles Darwin, and is the only species to have evolved snap trap carnivory underwater. It takes just 100 milliseconds for the snapping leaves to close upon small unsuspecting aquatic invertebrates such as mosquito and larva. The waterwheel plant is one of the fastest movements in the plant kingdom. Although the waterwheel plant also photosynthesizes, it needs to eat prey to get enough nutrients to grow. And while its traps may be small up to 1 cm long, it can efficiently catch tiny insects and even small fish and tadpoles. 7. Corkscrew plant. Unlike the other plants on this list, the corkscrew plant, genus Genliza, doesn't much care for insects, rather, its main diet consists of protozoans and other microscopic animals, which it attracts and eats using specialized leaves that grow under the soil. These underground leaves are long, pale, and root-like, but Genliza also has more normal-looking green leaves that sprout above ground and are used to photosynthesize light. Technically classified as herbs, corkscrew plants inhabit the semi-aquatic regions of Africa and both Central and South America. 6. Butterwort. The butterwort or pinguicula, commonly known as the butterworts, is a genus of carnivorous flowering plants in the family Lentibulariaceae. Butterworts are found throughout the Northern Hemisphere from Siberia to North America and also grow southwards into Central and South America. The leaf surface is covered in minute, sticky hairs that catch small prey like gnats, fruit flies and springtails. Sessile glands secrete a liquid of enzymes and acids that rapidly overcome and dissolve the prey. This mineral-rich soup is then absorbed by the plant. Butterworts are most famous for their beautiful, often long-lasting flowers, which are hummingbird pollinated in the wild. 5. Ridula. This species is carnivorous by proxy. Its leaves are extremely sticky and resinous. Flies are instantly captured when they touch the plant. However, the plant doesn't produce enzymes to digest the insect. Instead, it has a symbiotic relationship with assassin bugs that inhabit the plant and eat the captured insects. The plant obtains its nutrients from the assassin bug's droppings. In cultivation, it's not necessary to have assassin bugs. This plant is best grown by experienced growers. It requires very bright sunlight, warm temperatures, and lots of space. A mature plant can reach 5 to 6 feet tall. In cultivation, the plant typically rarely grows taller than 3 or 4 feet since it's usually grown in pots where it becomes root-bound. 
However, this is the type of plant that is extremely sensitive to root disturbance, so it essentially lives its entire life in the same pot. 4. Trifiophyllum. Trifiophyllum is a carnivorous plant genus with only one species Trifiophyllum peltatum. It is native to tropical western Africa, in Sierra Leone and Liberia, growing in tropical rainforests. This plant makes three types of leaves. The first type of leaf is long, lance-shaped, and unremarkable. The plant stays as a rosette of these leaves until it reaches a certain stage of maturity. Flowering is preceded by the production of a second type of leaf, the carnivorous leaf. This leaf is little more than a long, vertical tendril. Structurally, this tendril consists of a leaf midrib without a leaf blade. This carnivorous leaf bears glands that produce digestive glands that can absorb nutrients from captured insects, digested prey. Eventually it can grow to be a long vine 70 m long. That makes it the largest of all carnivorous plants, even though its carnivorous leaves are very rarely produced. 3. Tropical pitcher. You can find more than 100 species of tropical pitcher plants in tropical habitats in Australia, Madagascar, Papua New Guinea, the Seychelles, Southeast Asia and Sri Lanka. Each species typically grows only in a small area, but several species may live in the same habitat. Like other carnivorous plants, they all grow in areas with nitrogen-poor soil. These beautiful and clever plants collect their nitrogen in hanging, vase-shaped cups, which entice both flying and crawling insects with an intoxicating fragrance, bright color, and sweet nectar. A lid curves over the cup's rim, which is often grooved or toothed, and extra slippery. Plop. An unwary insect slides inside and soon finds itself drowning in a slick-walled vat of sticky, acidic liquid. Bacteria in a tropical pitcher plant's cups play a role in digestion, just as the bacteria in our gut help us digest our food. You could think of a pitcher plant's cup as its stomach. For most species, dissolved insects provide the nitrogen these plants need, but some tropical pitcher plants have other, unique ways of getting their fair share of this essential nutrient. For example, the cups of N. ampullaria have open lids and wide mouths that catch falling leaf litter, which produces nitrogen as it decomposes. 2. Cobra lily. Cobra lily pitcher plants are native to North America and found in nutrient-poor boggy areas. The main features of the plant are the modified leaves that rise from the base and terminate in hooded foliage. The leaves resemble the heads of cobras and they serve a specialized function. The habitat of these plants is poor in nutrients and they use those hooded leaves to gather fuel through digested insects. The hood secretes an attractive scent, which entices unsuspecting prey to enter. Once inside, they have difficulty getting back out and the plant secretes digestive enzymes, which break down the animal matter. Unlike other pitcher plants, complete cobra lily information needs to include the fact that their hoods are not open and they do not collect rainwater to trap and drown their prey. Flush the roots daily with fresh water and move it to shelter if temperatures are higher than 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Moisture is the most important part of cobra lily care. Use rainwater if possible, or purchase spring water because the plants are sensitive to excess minerals and chemicals in tap water. Number 1. Venus flytrap. The Venus flytrap is a small compact flowering plant. A mature rosette has between 4 and 7 leaves and reaches a size up to 5 inches. Each leaf blade has a petiole capable of photosynthesis and a hinged trap. The trap contains cells that produce the red pigment anthocyanin. The Venus flytrap lives in damp sandy and peaty soil. It is native only to the coastal bogs of North and South Carolina. In order for prey to be captured, it must touch the trigger hairs inside the trap more than once. Once triggered, it only takes about a tenth of a second for the trap lobes to snap shut. Initially, the fringes of the trap loosely hold the prey, nutrients are absorbed through the leaf's interior surface, and 5 to 12 days later, the trap opens to release the remaining chitin shell of the insect. And that's the world's top 10 carnivorous plants that eat everything from insect to mammals. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for more top 10 videos.